Hey guys, it's Erica. I surprisingly didn't get a lot of requests to check this one out, which I'm surprised by because for some big comebacks or big debuts, I get a handful of requests for people wanting me to check it out, and I am behind. Um, but we're gonna be checking out G Idols, Tomboy. Very excited to be checking this out. There was there's so much hype. I'm behind. So there is so much hype when this came out. Expectations are a little high and stuff, but it's but they are, for me personally, they are a hit and miss group. Not choreography wise, um, per se, but definitely comeback concept and stuff like that. Hit and miss for me personally, especially comebacks that have been very uh, big for them in the past. But for, so far, the last handful of ones have been hits for me. Um, so this will be very interesting, especially with all the hype surrounding this one. And that's the thing. That's why I kind of like to stay away from social media and not know anything. But it's hard with like TikTok and stuff like that and uh, um, like K-pop news sources because they will report on how something blows up and all the trends and all the stuff on like TikTok and stuff it's like almost impossible like I gotta scroll away very quickly but I don't want and I don't want any of that to like influence my opinion over a comeback or debut or anything like that but yeah but I'm very intrigued I'm excited to see what they do and what this is overall um so and hopefully it's a hit for me so you know what it let go Especially with the tomboy concept, I consider myself a tomboy. It may not look like it, but girl... I like the red. Okay! Strong start! Just pulls you in. Ken. Okay, you know I think I do this is a hit already. Okay, that set is fun. Okay. We're going for the rock vibes. Barbie doll. Okay. This is a great scene. Oh, okay. And the with this the choreography works. I like this a lot. If you know what? Queen them. I'm like surprised they didn't do this before because I just spit everywhere, my bad. Because it feels very fitting for them. That's so good. Those outfits are cute too, I love that. All the outfits are great. And that's a little unsanitary. She looks so good as well. The makeup too. Did they do stop motion? It could be CGI. But I like the stop motion look. Oh, is that them as Barbie dolls? That's cool. That's really sick. I love this so much. Okay, okay, editing coming through. I get it. I get it, girl. I get it now. I get it. You know, girl, I get it. Ken, no. 
That was absolutely amazing. I love it. I get it. Girl, I get it. The production is absolutely insane. I think this is my favorite comeback from them. They've had a lot of comebacks that have been my favorite when I do, when it is a hit for G-Friend for me. Or G-Friend. I, I say, I've done that so many times in the past. G-Idol for me. Um, I Hopefully I didn't do that before. I apologize if I did it before. Um, for G-Idol for me, um, the hits, they really, really hit. And this one fucking hit like so so well i love it i think the sound is absolutely amazing itself it's so so like not I don't, like it's the way they take the rock and the punk and they just like lean into that so hard and heavily especially in the sound itself is absolutely wonderful and nobody's gone i feel like this edgy with that type of sound before so it was absolutely amazing to see them to hear that like the song is so good and when i'm a Tom, boy, that is so fucking good. So fucking good. It's, it's, it's the sound is, I'm in love with the sound. Like, everybody kills it. Everybody looks absolutely great. So yeah, she just, she always does something. You know what I mean? Like, she, every comeback, you know? But she, she looks fucking great. The way the aesthetic and, like, the video itself, this sort of concept, I'm like, wait, it took them this long to do this? Like, because it just feels so g-idol and it just feels so something they would do where i'm just like it, we, we we barely know on this now wait, wait like it could have been a comeback three years ago how long have they been around um or three or four comebacks ago and it would have been very fitting for them like in my opinion um so i'm just like the fact that they're doing it it just if it, it suits them very very well the music video was gorgeous overall i love the the red being the sort of main color focus across the sort of board um across the board it was absolutely a great color to pick and they definitely worked it and they ran with it and it was absolutely amazing the aesthetics and overall fitting the sort of rebellious I'm not a girly girl I'm a tomboy sort of vibe absolutely love because again I feel that way myself and just because it, it may look different because the hair the makeup the fits that you see my room is teal green and I get a mom pillow right there you know what I mean but like Genuinely, that's how I feel about myself. Is I'm a tomboy. Um, so like seeing them take on this sort of like persona of that was very, very just like very fitting, and it also feels like very. It just it just works. Everything works. The video works. Choreography, which I do want a better look at, but all the aesthetics were absolutely amazing. All the sets were dope. Everything about it, the attitude, the just everything was just out of this park. Absolutely amazing. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite comebacks of the year. The sound was great, it's just everything about it. And the sort of Y2K aesthetics, what's interesting, what they went with, like the baggy pants, was like a really good look um, with the sort of fitted suit tops was gorgeous, but also for what I saw you and set the black and the red walls on the writing gives kind of, that. Was, that's a, what what is Gwen Stefani's bet? No doubt, sort of vibe. That was very much an aesthetic they went for in the 2000s. Um, so it's not exactly the same, but to see something kind of similar like that and see the sort of aesthetics that they go for um, definitely works. And the sound itself would be kind of very much something that would have been popular during like the 2000s, the sort of rock, the punk, the that whole sort of fusion of everything. Even though it is a sound, it sounds a little bit more like 2010s pop punk rock sort of thing and stuff but like it sounds like it would become more of that era but I, I but like uh, nothing was this good that they did like it's it feels even better than similar sounding songs like this that came that were popular when this sound was happening the pop punk the rock sort of stuff like it sounds better than that the sound is so fucking good like it also like i sort of like the end with the credits of the movie trailer to sort of the end there because it sounds like a song that could be a part of a movie you know what i mean like even like a 2000s movie like the sound is just so good. Like, it's, I mean, like, it's just so good. It's just, everything just, ah, it worked for them, like, so, so well. This is the, probably their best comeback ever. And this is probably overwhelmingly my favorite comeback from them. And it's just, again, when they hit, they hit for me personally, they knock it out of the fucking park. So, wow, just overwhelmingly amazing, I think would be in a way to describe it. Just the whole, everything, the aesthetics, the video. The song, the choreography, the looks, again, the attitude, everything is just overwhelmingly fucking amazing. So, and I loved it. And I love the concept. It's something that I feel like, personally, I can't, like, it just personally, it speaks to me. Um, and also just other, like, tomboy concepts and K-pop, I don't think have, have gone that route. And I love what they did here. And there have been various comebacks 
um, like CLC's um, no sort of just like I'm not gonna be the pretty girl you know I'm not gonna be but this one just like I'm not gonna be your Barbie doll which is very relatable and that sort of thing but again just everything that they went for and how they leaned into that so so heavily was absolutely amazing and sort of like being a rebel in the concept of that like especially girly aesthetics you know what I mean and going for the looks like they went for were absolutely amazing it 100% fucking worked for me and I'm I'm overwhelmingly in love with it I'm just overwhelmed overall like it was fucking great go and put your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about G Idol's tomboy if you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked me and you want to see more of my videos go to hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button if you want to follow me on social media twitter instagram snapchat tiktok in the description down below or at the end screen share this video to your friends thank you guys so so much for watching love you and i'll talk to you guys later bye if the villain dies